What is up guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another streaming tutorial guide. And today I'm gonna to show you how you correctly set up all your audio routing and loopback options on the Rode Connect software. This software is available with a select few Rode USB microphones. It's free if you own the microphone and it is absolutely awesome. You can pretty much use this to get your game sounds and also someone on chat into OBS. You can also use it with Teams and Zoom. And I'm also gonna show you how to correctly configure it with Discord. I found a lot of the information online where it was trying to tell you to use the virtual inputs would mean that you'd also be sending system audio to Discord. That sort of means that if you're playing a game with someone, they're going to hear your version of the game as well. And that's something that we certainly don't want. So I'm going to show you how to do all that today. There will be some more extended videos going through all of my settings um, and a little bit more about this microphone that I'm using here as well. This is the new Rode VideoMic Go 2. OK. Um, so if anyone's interested on how it sounds indoors, this is it, but I haven't quite configured it yet. Um, you know, got it nailed to how I want. Um, and a shotgun isn't really supposed to be indoors anyway, but for the price, it's a very good, you know, microphone. And I think it sounds, sounds really good for the money, you know, and it's just bonus features. You know, I bought this to be a camera mic and look at all the extra stuff that I can do with it. Anyway, beginning of the video waffle over. I think the first thing we need to show you then, um, with the audio settings, is to maybe just go into our sound settings and have a little look at what we've got here on the playback and on the recording settings. OK, so for playback for Rode, we have system output, virtual output, and then we've got the headphones um, for the video mic go. But you can ignore that one. I'm actually plugged into the Rode video mic go as well at the moment. So if I come down to my audio settings here, you can see my system output is set to Rode Connect. OK, so that's what we want it set to there. Um, to Rode Connect. So now when I play music, you can see there that audio was coming into OBS. Okay. Now virtual output is exactly, oh God, I'm wrong one again. I like this one. I don't like the Windows. I don't like the Windows 10 version. Virtual output is exactly the same thing. So if we set, where are you? I've got so much stuff in here. So if we then set that to virtual output down here, that song would come through the virtual output, but we want to reserve this for our chat. But if you're not doing any chat, you could have your game sounds and then music sounds set with different faders if it's just going to be you gaming on stream. So, yeah, you can configure all of that in the Windows Mixer settings. Plenty of videos showing all of that, but we won't go into that today. So next up, we have all the recording devices coming in then. So again, you can ignore the Rode video might go too, because what that is doing is it is coming up into system input. If you had four microphones in here, four Rode mics that you can have going into this, they all go into the system input. From the system input, they then go to the stream input and the virtual input. That's where it sends this microphone to these two here. OK, another thing you may well want as well is the Rode Central app. If you're using the video mic go to one really annoying thing at the moment is that you don't have control of your direct monitoring. So you can't control, you know, what I'm hearing in my headphones, how loud my voice is. There are some other options as well, which I'll show you at the end of the video, where you can actually send all of your audio to another audio device. So let's just say that I want to plug my DAC in for listening to the game and all of that stuff. Still hear all my Discord chat, but obviously the mic would have some latency, but you know, I won't want to hear that while I'm streaming. You can do all of that as well. So I'll show you that at the end of the video. So again, we have stream input, system input and virtual input. Okay, so system input is the mic. And then these are two ones that we can send to somewhere else. That's just the microphone. Nothing leaks, no game sounds or anything go in. Look, if I just, if you watch these levels here as I play the music again. Okay, that little demo didn't work. But what you would have just seen is you would have seen these two moving and you wouldn't have seen the middle one moving. But yeah, that is just, just the mic on its own. And I'm not too sure if it's got the effect. So first thing we're going to set up then is OBS because it's nice and simple. We're just going to send all of this stuff into OBS as you've already seen here. So just on your microphone input, whichever one you've had set up for it. Um, if you're new to OBS, then maybe just watch a few other guides before then. But you just select properties and then we're just going to set that to stream input. OK, that's all that we want. We want that one to be stream input. You could do virtual if you want, but you might as well do the stream one for your stream. OK, so that's stream input. And then as you can see, we've got the microphone coming in there. We've already done the system audio tests. So the next one would be like Discord, Teams and Zoom. Um, one thing I'm going to just tell you as well, um, why we're doing all of this, actually, because it's quite important. While you're setting this all up first time, so let's just say you've 
added virtual input to Zoom, Teams, and some other chat things, if you've got them all open, then it's only going to work with the first one you opened it with. So while you're trying to validate all of those settings and make sure it's working correctly, the one thing I would recommend to do is just close all the programs you're not using. I did find that Zoom, no matter what I did, was running in the background and I couldn't seem to, you know, get rid of it. Um, so all you had to do was just sign out and sign back in again. But essentially, all you need for the inputs on Zoom, Teams, all of that sort of stuff is you have virtual input um, as your mic setting and then you have output as your speaker. Because the great thing with this is this has mixed minor. So if we just do a quick recording now, um, and it plays back through, you'll see that it won't move the microphone. Without mix minus, what would happen is when audio comes in, it would then go back to the mic. And again, people hear themselves twice again. So this is just an audio recording test of someone on the other side of this Zoom call. So this is just an audio recording test of someone on the other side of this Zoom call. So there you go. As you can see then, it didn't move the mic um, as that was playing. Um, if you go back, you'll see that mic didn't move. So that's what the mix minus does. And it basically just stops the audio recording going to other places. So that's a really nifty feature that we've got there. The problem is with this is that the system sounds are linked to the virtual sound. So I'll just max this mic here and then press play again. And you could see that the mic was moving around. Zoom's, zoom's a bit delayed the way that it moves. But essentially, that is then also sending the audio to your to the people that you're talking to online on Zoom and Teams. And that's fine for that because you may want to send them a song to listen to. It may be that you're listening to an audio recording or they're just listening to the audio from the video and then you're going to discuss the topic of that afterwards. That is perfectly fine. But the problem is when we get to Discord, because like I said, that system audio is our game sounds and we can't send those game sounds back to Discord. So how do you do Discord then? If you just go to the um, voice and voice and video bit in Discord in your settings. So what we set it to is remember that system input that I was bloody audio control panel. Do you remember? We had that system input. This is the one that I says doesn't feed to any of the other inputs. OK, so we can literally just send that input there to Discord. So we're just literally sending the microphone. Like I said, I don't think it has the effects, but that's not really a problem. But then we just send the virtual output. So we're going to output from there to the virtual tracks. And that is how you do it all. And it'd be the exact same if you wanted to just send just the microphone with, with nothing else over to um, Zoom or Teams, you would just set it to system input. And this is actually somewhere where the road connect as an in-between can come useful because you can turn on just a couple of little things in there. At least you can give yourself, you know, like a high pass filter or something like that. And that's how you get it all sent over. I don't know what I've got on at the moment. Yeah, just noise gate compressor and high pass. So that is how you set up and do all the audio routing. So I'll just go through it one last time then. So for OBS, we have it set to stream input. So that is going to take all of these channels and it's going to send it back to OBS. Our system sounds we set down here. So system output. This means we can bring through game sounds. It's our entire system. We can bring through YouTube, music, whatever we want we bring through to that one. We then have the virtual output in the virtual input into Zoom, which is then sending our microphone, but it will also send our system sounds in as well. So we can play back stuff that's on our computer to them. We then do the virtual output, which brings their audio into this channel. That is what brings the audio into this channel. And then it creates a mix minus to stop stuff looping back. OK, but if we didn't want it, if we didn't want any system sounds, we would just change that to road system input. OK, and that is exactly what we've got on our Discord. So we're sending just the microphone to Discord. We don't want anything else. But then we allow the virtual output from them talking on Discord to come back into our mixer. That means that when we're streaming on OBS, we get our microphone, we get our system sounds and we get our Discord chat and there is no crosstalk whatsoever. Perfect. And it's free. Fantastic. I know you've got to buy a road mic, but like I said, I bought this for my camera. This stuff's all extra. Brilliant. So what about outputting, you know, music to, you know, stuff to your headphones? Because, you know, as much as I'm quite surprised that I can monitor this microphone because he's a DT 990 T50 ohms direct from this little microphone. How do I then, you know, just send the audio somewhere else to my DAC? Really simple here. You just press these three dots. You go to preferences and then you've got monitor out. So then I can just set a monitor out.
and then you can decide here whether you want microphones excluded or not. There will be some latency. I found on my MacBook Pro, the 14 inch new one, the M1 Pro, or whatever it is, um, I found that that um, was very good for the latency, but you will hear, you know, it sort of sounds a little bit robotic. Listen back to yourself, but yeah, I would just say microphone excluded then you can just literally listen to your game sounds your person on chat and then you know it's going on stream like if someone tells you you need to turn your mic up you just come here and turn it up a little bit and they'll tell you if it sounds good or not you know you can adjust all of this stuff afterwards so it's really great i really like that you can output to another device as well this means that i can still use like a high-end dac um, and all of that stuff which i can't do with my revelator you know obviously the revelator is a bit more of a complete product but yeah i, I miss that feature that's something i miss from having voice meter so i'm really glad that that's there anyway that's it from me today if you have any questions please do let me know if there are any future feature updates and stuff like that to this i would obviously really like them to see them to add the direct monitor built into road connect um, i will let you know and i will make a follow-up video that's it for me today make sure you subscribe make sure you like the video and i'll be back with some more content real soon